Last time on Total Drama Revenge of the Plushy Island. Our contestants had to hide from Polar because he was being one who was chasing them all. Some contestants started interacting with each other, some sucked hard, and Sundrop won the immunity. But it turns out that wasn't actually Sundrop, but instead someone who took control over his body. But even after all of this, the only veteran in this game, Iggy Koopa, has been sent home. So, who will be out next? Which one of our final seven will get to the final six? And how will Blue Toad keep going without Iggy? Find out today on Total Drama Revenge of the Plushy Island. Just in, just as far as I could. So, I'm guessing the discussion is about... Yep, it's about Moondrop. Alright then. So let's try to figure this out then. So let's try to run this down. Uh, so what do we know about this Moondrop guy? Well, all I know is that he is a... Um... Like he's a second side of Sundro Sundrop's coin. And currently, he, Sundrop, is not in control of his body. He can, we, yeah, and on top of that, we need to find a way how to get Sundrop back while getting rid of Moondrop for good. But we can change on it later. From what I know about this Moondrop guy is that he is kind of the reason why I've been acting like a total dick towards Blue Toad. What do you mean? Well, you know, ever since yesterday, I've been feeling a little bit stupid, retarded because I voted off Iggy when I know I should have trusted him. <sighs> it's not your fault, Jason. You tried your best, and that's all that matters. I love how you're the only person here beside Blazion that actually forgives me for what I've done. Why are you saying that? Did you tell the others that you're sorry? Yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah, that's why I didn't forgive you, because you never said that. Whatever. But the point is, I want to make make up for Blue Toad. I need. I want to apologize to him for how for being so stubborn and stupid. I should have. Tr I should have. I should have trusted Iggy. Like I don't know why was I thinking there. Listen, none of us knew about Moondrop, so it's not your fault. It's neither Iggy, since he was fi 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 figuring out that. That something is up with Sundrop, or in this case now Moondrop, but listen, at the very least, we do have an easy person to eliminate. What do you mean by that? I mean, we can just vote off Moondrop and boom, we saved the day. The end. Yeah, about that. Yeah, Blaziana, there's a massive problem with voting off Moondrop. Why? He's, he's outnumbered. Yeah, but we can't just let him go out there it, while he's still Moondrop. Who knows what he will do out there? Yeah, the only way we can at, be guaranteed that we can vote him off is we, if we bring him back to being Sundrop. Yeah, so now that remains one more question that I asked earlier. How do we bring him back to Sundrop? I don't know, but we will try to figure it out eventually. All right then, in that case, I guess this discussion is over? Yeah, why? I need to go practice for the next challenge. Who knows, maybe it'll be something too dangerous for even for me. Hm. Yeah, 
So we're keeping Sundrop or Moondrop in the game until we bring back Sundrop. That's going to be a little bit of a hard task, but I, can, I think we can do our best. I know we can. All right, then. Well, let's get prepared for the challenge. All right. What the... Where am I? You're in your dream. Huh? You got your disguise back, didn't you? No. Blue Toad, listen to me, please. I'm not Moondrop. It's me. I'm the actual Sundrop. Please. Please believe me. Then what makes you think I'll believe you after voting off my best friend? Wait. What did you say? You heard me! You voted off my friend Iggy! Well, Iggy got eliminated by Moondrop? Don't play dumb with me! I saw you! Blue Toad, listen. I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry for what Moondrop done. But please, you gotta believe me. I am Sundrop. I wish there was any way I could prove it. Please, just... Just believe me, I've been trapped in his mind for for almost a while. I don't even know what happened. I don't know if Whisper's okay. I don't know anything. Sandra usually does act so insure. Please, Blue Toad. What can I do to believe you? No, wait, Sandra. I believe you now, really. I can see that you're not Moondrop because you're sad, and that Moondrop never was. And I know you. Come on. Uh, uh. So, what are you doing on my dream? Well, I was gonna help you out, but uh, you're gonna wake up soon, so I better make this quick. Uh, sure. What is it? Every day, I will be here to help you out to find a way to get rid of Moondrop. The process is going to be slow, maybe like a few days, but we will beat Sun Moondrop if you trust me. I'll trust you. Just tell me what can we do? I would tell you what happened so you can get some information, but... I can't. Your dream is gonna end soon. Uh, well, but... Sorry. We'll do this tomorrow, I promise. I... You gotta go. Wait, but Sandra! Ah! Contestants! Wake up! It's challenge time! Mark Koopa said it. Said so. Uh, this early too? Uh. Uh, uh, Alright, I'm here. Did I make it? Yeah, he didn't announce the challenge yet. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for today's challenge? Yeah, I guess we are. So, none of us are going to say anything since Moondrop is right next to us? I don't... Why do we need to say anything? I'm... All he has to know is that I'm coming after him. <laughs> I like to see you try. All right. Anyways, today's challenge is going to be a cook-off. Uh, according to uh, one of the challenges that was requested by uh, when we were asking for more challenge ideas. Mm, asking for more ch drama ideas. How how predictable. Karen, please be quiet. Nah. Now then, this challenge will go a little bit different from how the one of the people requested it. So this is how will we go. Chef Berry Pie, would you like to explain this for us? Oh, right, right, Mark Cooper. So this is how the challenge will work. As you probably would guess, in this challenge, I would be one of the critics of your food. And if you make the best food, wins. But the difference in this challenge is that I wouldn't be the only judge. Oh, God, is Polar going to be one of the judges? I don't think he's talking about Polar. Yeah, I'm not talking about Polar. Instead, I'm talking about your loved ones. Wait, what? Wait, you mean... We can get to see our friends? Our, our loved ones? And everyone we truly care for? Yeah, 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 that's right. 
So, allow me to go through the order of uh, from Glaceon to the last one. So, let's get to Glaceon's one first. So, here's your loved one, Glaceon. Hi, sis. Hey. Oh, Leafeon, hi. I miss you, sis. I know, I miss you too, Leafeon. So, how is it in here? Is it wonderful? Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you so much for inviting me in this show. No problem. I knew you would like it. Oh, and you must be Glaceon's boyfriend. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, how are you, sis? Uh, I'm doing fine. Up next is Jason. Hey, brother. Hey, Jason, what's up? Yo, it's my little sister. Oh, look at her. She's still so tiny. Uh, Jason, shut up. Oh, you brought your four-eyed freak with you. Why do you keep calling him a four-eyed freak? Nah, I got used to it. What's up, Jason? What's up, Black? How are you doing, bro? Oh, nothing much. We've just been spending time together. You know, classic relationship stuff. Yeah, I'm still new to this. Despite us dating for three years, you still find it new? Can you blame me? Yeah, we're good. I'm damn dude. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna cook for you guys. Oh, God. Yeah, when you cook, you're... You're great at it. <sighs> Now up next, we have for Blazion. So here's your friend. Oh, Blazion, how's it going, bro? Yo, Wiggly, my man, how's it going, dog? It goes pretty well, my man. I wish I could say something else, but it's inappropriate, yeah. Yeah, so yes, how are you, bro? I'm doing fantastic myself, my man. <laughs> yeah. Up next, we have Blue Toad's brother. Hey, brother. Toad! Hey, Toad! Wait, isn't that... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Isn't that the runner-up of uh, Season 10? Yeah, that's it. Hey, bro. How have you been? I've been pretty good myself, bro. I... I've been doing, uh... Fine. I... I guess. Hmm. You seem like you didn't have much of a fun time here. I did! Just, uh... I don't want to talk about it. Come on. Uh, okay. We'll just sit here. Uh, Amy, here comes your boyfriend. <gasps> no way! Hey, you can finally see him! <laughs> hi, hi, Amy. Hi, Red. Oh, I miss you so much. I miss you too, don't worry. I've seen your game so far. You're doing great. Thank you so much. Hmm. <laughs> and you must be Karen, right? Mm-hmm, that's me. Hmm, <laughs> thanks a lot for taking care of her. Uh... I just really wish that nothing really bad happened to her, but Peach just had to ruin it. It's okay, Red. It's okay. I, I'm fine. See? Yeah. Well, in that case, I just want to say it was my massive pleasure to help out your friend, your friend, uh, your, your, your girlfriend. God, I can't speak. And lastly, we have Moondrop's uh, friend. Well, we figured out that Moondrop and Sundrop have different friends, but since this time it's Moondrop... Yeah, I'm the one who's gonna taste this cooking. Spring trap. Ah, uh, one of one of Jerry's main main sidekicks. Jerry? Who the fuck is Jerry? You do not want to know. Hmm. So, Moondrop, seems like you finally got out of your shell. Yeah, it was annoying to get out, but I finally did. You better make me proud. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I'll try my best. Look who's talking. The side Jerry Psychic who did who was only in one season and got eliminated first. You'll regret saying that, Red. Mark my words. We shall see. Calm down, Red. They're not doing anything evil at the moment. You can calm down. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Also, Barry Pat. What do you mean finally, Spring Trap? Didn't someone else came here to see me? Yeah, didn't someone from Karen, from Karen's world, to see her? I, I'm sorry, Karen, but no one showed up. What? No, Babypie, you can't be serious. I, I'm sorry. I've looked at everything. I've looked at the universe that she's from. No one really cares for her, and 
her only person that she had a re relative one is dead. Which is why Karen is not in this competition. But because she won't be in the competition, she will win immunity for this for this challenge. At least she'll be one of the contestants immune. You can all still participate for the immunity. Oh, I, I see. Karen, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll just, I'll leave you guys alone. I'll let you guys have fun with your loved ones. Karen! Ugh, I feel so bad for her. Me too. I wish there was something we could do. Mm. Alright, everyone. Now that we have everyone here, let's just get to the challenge. Okay. Alright, so go into the kitchen and make the best food for each other. Make your favorite foods of your loved ones, and then you can show it up to us. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do our best. Yeah. Alright. This'll be interesting. Okay, then. Just know, Leafyot, I'm making you cold food because I can't handle the heat. That's fair. Alright. My curry is almost done. Are you proud of me, Master? I sure am. Drop. By the way, quick question. Is Sun Drop gone for good? Not yet. But if I stay in this game um, for like five days or six, he will be nothing but a thought afterwards. Perfect. I need you, Moondrop. Jerry needs you. Master, can you talk about that cherry guy? Why does he need me so much? Well, as you know, I am a second, I'm third in command in Jerry, Jerry's villainous office. While, while Blinky is the, his main sidekick, I am the third in the office. He knows your powers because I told him, told him about you. Then he wants to see more. If he wants to see more, then that's what he'll get. Perfect. Now, get back to making that curry. Yes, Master. You know, making a salad is painfully easy. Especially since I can cook it really easily because I'm, you know, have fire powers. Oh, yeah, you surely know how to do stuff, Blazion. That's why you're awesome, man. Huh, <laughs> you're cool. We are way more cooler than me, buddy. Huh, <laughs> yeah, as if. By the way, how's the game going? Oh, oh, this game and overall, well, going pretty good. I, you know, I'm here now. I got this far. And I haven't really met any enemies yet. Which is kind of stupid because, you know, you need a rival in this game, like you had. Wait, when did I have a rival? Brandon, uh, earlier episodes. Okay, okay. I was angry at that time, okay? I thought I could trust Knuckles a lot more than Brandon, and then when I trusted him, started trusting him, we became, com we became, yeah, comrades. Okay. Anyways, I should get back to cooking. Alright. Uh, la 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 la. Hey, what's up? Are you all right? Uh, oh, hey, brother. I, I'm just, I'm doing fine. Your sandwich is almost done. Oh, well, uh, I guess that's great. Uh, so, uh, oh, um, actually, I, never mind. What is it? I was gonna ask you, is there something wrong? But I've seen the last episode. So you know, I had made a friend with a Koopaling. I mean. Yeah, I never told anyone about it, but I think it's nice. He trusted me. And I didn't even help him. You did help him! You proved that Sundrop was Moondrop, and now you guys have an easy target to get rid of! You know? Yeah, but... But what cost? Listen, Barney. I know that you'll miss you, but... 
Don't you think it would be good if you win for him? Yeah, you're, you're right. He would want that I win for him. Then go ahead and do it. Let's win this challenge. Right. All right then. I'll just finish your sandwich real quick. All right. If you if that's all you need, I'll be waiting for you with Chef Berry Pie. Okay, bro. You can do it, my sis. I believe in you. Thanks, Leafeon. Uh, I just need to add a little bit more icing on that. By the way, I forgot to ask, what you're making? I'm making your favorite cake. Really? Mm-hmm. And I know exactly how you like it, frozen solid. Ah, oh, you're such a great sister. Thank you so much. No problem. You seem more softer than usual. Did that ghost boy change your mind? Okay, I must admit, this, sh this time on the show was a pretty much of a mixed bag. On one hand, there are so many stupid challenges, but on the other hand, there's J there's Jason, and he's just so cute. Oh, I know how you feel. Well, I wish you the best of luck in winning this season. Thanks. No problem. I know for a fact you'll win this this challenge, so you should be fine. Hmm. If you say so. Jason, for the last time, no one's gonna like your cooking. I know from my personal experience. Come on, sis, don't doubt me. We will, you want me to win, don't you? Yeah, but the last thing I would love to eat is dry bone, dry bone, uh, the remaining of dry bone's flesh combined with some boo worms. The fact that you know his ingredients is scaring me. His food scarred me, babe. And now you know why I love to make fun of you every time you're here before I freak his away from poop. Ugh. Okay, but for real, back to cooking. He's not gonna win this challenge. Yep. Though, he's your brother, shouldn't you be cheering him on? Well, yeah, but I just know he, this, like, this. if this was in any other challenge, maybe I would cheer for him. But cooking? Yeah, hit, that's not his strong suit. Right. I got more ingredients for your soup, babe. Thank you. I'm gonna put this here. There we go. And done. Now we just need to wait for it to boil. Mmm. I love you when you cook soup. It's the best food you ever made. Thanks, Fred. No problem. But I'm guessing you're still sad about Karen. I just feel bad for her. No one really cares for her that much, and besides... Her own brother was dead, according to Marco Bob. How can I not be sad? <sighs> Listen, Amy, it's going to be okay. If she ever needs someone to talk to, you can always be there for her, right? Yeah. But at the same time, what if I'm gone? Well, Karen is a strong girl. I know she can pull off stuff. She's a very grown and strong woman. I've seen it for all throughout your performance here. So you even saw the point where Peach read my diary? Yep. That was the worst thing she could have ever done. It's okay. Nobody's making a big deal out of it, so you don't you shouldn't too. Right. But um so let's just finish the soup so we can make sure you win this challenge. Right. All right. Three, two, one, that's time. So, let's see which one of you made the better food for Berry Pie over here. So, Berry Pie, ready to review some food? Well, that's my point of life, so yes. Nice. Let's get this show on the road then. Up first is Glaceon's meal. Glaceon, what did you make for Leafeon? My sister made my favorite food, frozen salad. Frozen salad? Leafeon, are, are you a cannibal? What? No, I'm not a cannibal. Listen, I know people might ask the same question that if I'm a cannibal. Listen, I know I'm a grass type and everything, but that doesn't mean that I'm literally made of grass. Meaning that I would be a cannibal. Like, if I was made of grass, then yeah, I would just, I would see people justify that I'm a cannibal. But I'm an actual, like, fox thing, whatever. But yeah. What I'm trying to say is, I'm not a, I'm not a cannibal. I'm, I'm made of meat, not grass. So technically, not cannibalism. 
It's okay, Leafyon. I I believe you. Anyways, um, here you go. Frozen salad. That's Leafyon's favorite. Why does she love it? I'm not complaining. I'm just uh. <laughs> ah, the reason I love frozen salad is because it's so crunchy. Mmm. The more I figure about the evolution family, the more concerned I get. You know what? I'm with you on that one. I mean, one is a killer. The other, the other is a egotistical um, ice, and the other one loves eating grass. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try mine now. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Uh. Yeah. I don't know about this one. What? What do you mean? Like the ingredients aren't bad. But the problem is, it's so frozen, I can barely even eat it. So, I guess Leafyon can eat it because she has stronger fangs, but I'm not a Pokemon, so I don't. Sorry, Galician, I think I'll have to give you a four for this one. <sighs> Damn it. Galician, I'm so sorry! It's okay, sis, it's okay. Don't, don't be sad. I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad about my score. Okay, but I cost you the challenge. Oh, oh, as if these guys know how to cook. Hey, my brother can cook really good. Come on, little bro, show him what you made. Right away, my brother. <laughs> yeah. For for you, Shudberry Pie, and my brother, I mean a double foot sandwich. Heat up. Nom, 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 nom. Just like how I always dream. Just like, just like I always imagined it, brother. So, it's a basic double foot sandwich. Yeah. Mm, whatever. Mm. I mean, it it's standard itself. Uh, it's a double foot sandwich. Though, I guess I kind of like it. Uh, I mean, I would give you a five for unoriginality, but, you know, just because it was delicious, I'll give it a seven. Yay! Oh, well, well, shit. Yeah, I like that, Glacian. Hey, Toad! Sorry, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to go that hard. She started it. I guess you're right. Next up is Jason. Oh, God. Yep. Prepare your barf bags, everyone. Ah, shut up. Anyway, say hello to my spicy, my delicioso food. I made cereal with dry bones leftovers. What? And no, not you, my friend, dry bones. You're cool. I would never cook you anyway. Anyways, they again. Oh yeah, I am. Uh, I got rid of your bully. Don't ask how. Uh, c can we just not eat this? Just, you know, go on with our lives? Nope, you have to eat it. Uh, I hate... Why did I come back here? Uh, I mean, surely it can't be that bad. Uh, uh, hmm. I mean... I guess it doesn't seem that Oh dear lord. Oh dear. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, you, Jason. Yes, Chef. You're the worst disgrace of food I've ever fucking imagined. I never wanted to go harsh on anybody, but this is just too gross. Give it a negative 10 out of 10. Whatever. Only my grandma. Because she can feel the food you're eating. Exactly. Ah. We might need to take a five minute break. We'll be right back after these messages. I am Miss Mario so much. Kill your shit. And now back to Total Drama Revenge of the Plushy Island. Welcome back everyone. After a little mess that just happened, uh, we had to clean things up and the chef Berry Pie had to brush his teeth like five times. But anyways, now we're back and we can continue the continue the challenge. So, up next we have Blazion. You better prepare yourself some milk, Chef Berry Pie, because Blazion made the spiciest shit you could ever imagine. I call my food the ingredient, the, the volcano dog. Bon appetit. Or homemade delicacy. A volcano dog? It's like a hot dog, but it's the, it's hot as a volcano. Uh... I'm gonna try it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Boo! <gasps> Woo! Holy shit, I need water! Okay, let me then try. Hmm. Oh. 
And what do you think? Mm. Oh, what's your me? That is a lot of spice. But oh, oh, I need some milk. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, let me just calm down. All right. So. Your food was unnecessarily spicy, but I will say it's better than Jason's. So I'll give it a 3 out of 10. What? Dude, come on! Just because of the spice I added? Fine. How about 6? Good enough. So far, Blue Toad has had the best m meal out of everyone here. Amy, let me see if you can change that. Oh, she definitely can. For my, uh, food, I mean my, my boyfriend's favorite food. Alphabet soup. Just just an alphabet soup. Listen, listen. I know it's kind of bland of a choice, but listen. The way that these soup, this soup is special compared to any other soup, Amy cooks it with the two things that a normal chef would need. Passion and love. Ooh, okay, now I'm getting a little interested. Dig it? The customer is always right. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. Red, I love you and all, but please remember that I want you to eat normally. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Amy. All right, let me try. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's a plain soup, but I guess I can see some passion and love in it. Uh, seven, why not? Yay, Amy, you're tied with Blue Toad. Yeah, nice. And now it's your turn, Moondrop. What have you made? My made something fantastic. You will love it. Show him, Moondrop. Whatever that motherfucker made, it's probably not gonna be good. Yeah, I hope so. I call my meal Star Bright Star Light Curry. Bon Appetit. Star Light Star Bright Curry? What kind of name is that? This motherfucker copied a spell card from Yu-Gi-Oh! Hey, listen. Okay, the fact you even know that card is ridiculous. Dude, as a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexual, I know that card. Anyways, fine, let's see what, how it tastes. It looks like it's... These stars on this curry looks like it's made come that it came from cereal. Oh, well... Oh, really now? Well, uh, why don't you try it anyway? Alright. Uh... Uh... This is surprisingly pretty good. Holy cow. Oh, really? Mm, yeah. Pretty good. Delicious. Delicioso. But, uh, I'll give it a six. What? Actually, seven. Never mind. Oh, okay, but why seven? Uh, the name just kind of ruined it. Sorry. Because of the name? That is stupid. I hope this can calm you down, Moondrop, but because you, Amy, and Blue Toad have the same amount of points, all three of you won immunity, so congratulations! Oh, well, this is nice. Great job, brother! You won immunity! Uh-huh. Bro? How did he want immunity? That makes no sense! <sighs> yeah, I see your point, but don't worry. We, we will, you will get rid of them next time. I know it. All right. All right, everybody, I'm going to let you guys have last interactions with your friends for 30 minutes. Afterwards, um, they'll have to go. So spend your time with loved ones for at least a few more times before we um, move on with the show. Anyways, uh, Polar, let's prepare the elimination ceremony. Right. Well, I just want to say... All of you, you did fantastic, even if your food was bad. Except for you, Jason. I never want to hear, see you cook ever again. I'm sorry. Like, I don't want to be rude, but seriously, your cooking is terrible. Uh, I'm just gonna go. I told you, Jason. I would have cheered for you at anything other than cooking. You guys are just a bunch of meaty poo-poo heads. You guys don't understand what the, what's delicious and what's not. <sighs> Anyways, uh, let's just spend time with him, Lakitu. All right. Hey, we still want to spend time with you. Red, I'm going to hang out with you, but first I I need to do something. I left a plate of soup for someone else. Uh, right. Hmm, let's, let's practice a little. Sure, woo! Let's go, sis! Hmm, 
Alright. <laughs> You won the volleyball grand prix? I'm so proud of you, boo! <laughs> Thanks, Jason. And then me and Tails won, won the wool around the tornado. We then he did a barrel and almost fell off, but he caught me right on time. <laughs> you that's why I always tell you, wear seatbelts no matter where you go. Nah shush. Come on, buddy, you got it! 60, 61, 62! There you go, buddy! Uh just don't pressure yourself, okay? I won't, buddy! This is what I wanted, and this is what I'll do. 66, 67. Karen, go You don't even have, you fire get fired from every doctor establishment every time you do. So shut the flip up. Nah, brother, shut it. I, I know better than you ever would, bro. Is that seriously how you react to your old brother dying? Dying? I was awful. Brother. In the times when I really need you, why did I need to act like that? Cole, I'm sorry. Please, please come back. Come back, brother. I missed you. Karen? Karen, are you okay? We heard a slam from here. What's going on? I... I... I just... It's nothing. Karen? Are you crying? No, I'm not crying. Someone's just chopping balloons somewhere in the middle or close. I don't know. Karen, don't hide your feelings from me. If you feel something happened, then... You can tell me what's wrong. You trust me, don't you? Uh, 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 uh. Amy! <laughs> I miss him, Amy! Kieran, what? I miss my brother Cole. I've been hiding my true feelings for such a long time. I felt so bad when he died. I just... I just... I just wish I was never such an awful sister to him. But... but I treated his death like it was nothing. I feel like an awful monster. I just... I never deserved any sympathy. I shouldn't just not be alive. I should just... Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Please, just calm down. That was you from the past. Remember that, Karen. You are new now. You're better. You now know better. Thanks to me. Don't beat, your beat yourself up for something that happened in the past. Just don't, please. I know you miss your brother. We all make stupid mistakes at some point, but when we figure them out, we can learn from it. So don't beat yourself up over it, because it's not your fault. Hey, big girl. Thank you so much. No problem. No problem. Screw it. Group hug! I like group hugs. Sorry. It's okay. I need as much as hugs as I can get. Thank you both. You both are so kind. You all understand me, even though no one was able to understand me. I can... You guys thought me knew that I could change, and you guys helped me with it. I, I don't know how else to thank you. Just... Just try to be yourself, my bestie. Yeah. Always be yourself, and don't matter what anybody says about you. Even if your name is a Karen, you're still a strong person. And not every Karen is that bad. Thank you, you guys. Always, Karen. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, uh, I got you some soup I made for the contest. Y you made soup for me? Yeah. I mean, the contest was about giving uh, your food after making it to people, the judges, who are Sh Shepherd Pie, and the people I care for. And I care for you, Karen, because you're my best friend. Okay, not my best friend in, like, in the world, but you're still a very close friend to me. And you've helped me through so much. Thank you. No problem, girl. No problem. 
I'll eat it later. You know, Amy, I must admit, I've never doubted you, but I'm so happy that you've grown throughout this series so much. I wouldn't have gone here if it wasn't for you. You gave me the inspiration to join the show, and thank you so much, Red. I love you more than anyone in the world. I love you too, Amy. <laughs> oh, there you are, Red. Huh? Huh? I, uh, oh, I'm sorry, am I interrupting anything? No, you weren't. Nah, don't worry, Mark Koopa, you're fine. Oh, well, in that case, uh, oh, God. What is it? I'm sorry, Red, but it's time to go. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, this is a temporary episode where I show up. Mm-hmm, yeah. You can, um, everybody's waiting. And as for Amy, Karen, you can have two, ten minutes to go off, prepare for the elimination. Um, you can choose your votes in ten more minutes. But, um, yeah. So, sorry, Red, but you gotta have to go. I understand. Well, Amy, I guess it's time for us to separate for a second time. Yeah, I suppose so. <sighs> Just know this, Amy. Yeah? I'm still proud of you for what you did and helping out Karen to improve herself. And I just want to also say, even if you lose somehow this competition, whether you win or lose, I'll be proud of you no matter what. I'll miss him. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. You know, I'm so happy that you have a boyfriend that can take care of you. Yeah. It's just a shame that I'm going to miss him a lot again. I just want to be with him. Besides, he already won two seasons. What's the problem with me losing one? Well, he never said that you shouldn't win. Why don't you... Then why don't you go with him if you miss him that much? Karen? So ever since we became friends, I've really started to care about your feelings and everything. And I just feel like you're so hurt when you're not next to your boyfriend. So if you really don't care about the money or winning for him, then what's the... then you can go with him. But what about you? You'll be outnumbered! Nah, don't worry about good old me. I, fi I fi always find my own ways. But at the end of the day, it's not up to me of whether you want to go back with Red or want to stay in the game. The choice is yours, my friend, and I'm not going to infiltrate your choice. I'm letting this decision all up to you. Do you want to stay with me or do you want to stay with Red? I'm not going to stop your choice. Hmm. All right, everyone, it's time for you to go. Thank you for joining this um, little uh, challenge experience. I hope you enjoyed your time to be with your loved ones, and I know for a fact you'll see them again. Just until then, I hope you just enjoyed your time. Thank you so much for having us, Mark Koopa. It was a pleasure joining in. <laughs> you know, Red, yeah? Whenever I see you on this island, it just brings me back so many memories. Like memories of season one? Yeah. Every time when I see you on this island, and even Springtrap, even if he just was there in there one episode, every time I see any of my contestants that were in season one, it fills me with so much nostalgia. Like, it makes me want to go back to those days, to when the times were so simple, when we had no subscribers and no kids asking about the plush series. Hey, it's okay. I, I know they, that they've been stressing you out a little, but hey, you passed through that. I saw the episode. Yeah. Hmm. And, you know, it's even more special to see my, my winner of my first ever season. Nah, come on, don't brag over me just now. Otherwise, I'm going to be, be the most hated character around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Anyways... It was a pleasure seeing you here, Red, but now it's time to go. I understand. I I hope someday I can join your season again. You know, for old time's sake. Mm-hmm. Right away! Huh? What the? <laughs> Amy. Hold on, Amy. Um, we kind of talked about this, remember? Um, 
Red is going home because of the challenge. You, um, you kind of can't talk to him yet. I know. That's why I'm quitting the show. Wait, what? Wait, Amy, you're quitting? It's probably for the best for me. Wait, what? Hold on, Amy. Um, I cannot allow you to go with Red unless you're 100% sure that you ha want to do this. But, Amy, why? I... I thought you wanted to join the- stay in the game. I know, but... I've... I, it's not that I was obsessed by you any, in any other way, but I just, you know, kind of miss you. And now that I see you again, I kind of don't want to wait until, like, the finale to see you again. And besides, why would I need a million dollars when I have my two million dollar man right here? Aw, oh, Amy, sh you're making me blush. Wait, but what about Karen? Uh, doesn't, doesn't she need you to keep it staying in the game? Like, I'm not trying to, like, make you regret your choices or anything. I'm just, I'm just asking, because, like, this is a shocker for me. Don't worry. Karen is a strong girl. I know she can get through this. Plus, we talked about it. So, everything will be okay. Yeah, we talked about it, Makuba. Please let her go. This was, this is her choice, and I allowed her to use it. Please? All right, then it's settled. Amy, you're officially eliminated. That's fine. I already have my two million dollar man right here. Aw, Amy, shush. But for real, I hope you're not disappointed in me for my choice. I just missed you so much, and you said that... I'll be proud of you no matter what. And yes, I'm still proud of you. Aw, oh, Red, you're such a charmer. Just shut up. <laughs> Awkward! Tell me about it. Eh, shut up and let them kiss, goddammit. You see me and me and Boo suck lips with each other, then let them cook. That joke is dead now, so stop. Can we just go, please? Rightfully so. Everyone, say your final goodbyes to your friends, because... Well, actually, goodbyes for now, since, you know, they won't be here until, like, the finale. Alright. Bye, brother! See you, see the finale if you make it! Don't worry, bro! I won't fail you! Nor Iggy! At least I'll try! Lazy on! When, when you finish this season, you better teach me your karate moves, alright? In return, you need to make, help me learn capoeira! Goodbye, Moondrop. We'll see you in the fin finale. I won't fail you, master. Unless I have, have something to say about it. Bye, Jason. See you soon. And good luck with improving with your cooking. Shut the fuck up, you miserable piece of shit. I mean, uh, bye, Lakitu. And bye, sis. I love you. Bye, Glaceon. We'll see you soon. Bye, Leafeon. Thank you for giving me this chance. So you're sure about this? Yes. Karen, you can do this. Just believe in yourself. And know that I'll always be there with you, watching you. I know, girl. I'll do this for you. See ya. Bye. Bye. <sighs> and now, it's me against the world. And I say, bring it. Now that's the enthusiasm I wanted to see. And just like that, Amy has left the show with her boyfriend. I'm not mad, I'm just surprised. But now, we're down to the final six. What's gonna be the next challenge for the, for the next challenge? God, I have no script. Will Karen actually be able to get through most of these guys without Amy? I will! Okay, sorry, I didn't mean that in a harsh way. And will Moondrop ever get eliminated? Maybe next episode, but that's for you to figure out for the because the next episode will come out. I don't fucking know. But anyways, see you next time on Total Drama Revenge of the Plushy Island.